Blessings on your day. Hello, we are here today talking about healing generational wounds. Okay, so first of all, we first have to recognize what generational wounds are. So for instance, say your grandparents maybe lived through the depression. Well, they had a scarcity experience that stuck with them for most of their lives. And most of you, like my grandmother, she was a hoarder because of the depression. She would keep cans of food for forever, even though they'd expired. Like there was behaviors that got passed down to her children because of things that she experienced as a child, right? So there's so many other things. I want you to stop and be the detective of your family right now and start looking. Are there repeated patterns? Substance abuse, incarceration unhealthy relationships, right? There's a multitude of things that repeat. Dis-ease. How many of you guys, so we all realize that generational stuff comes down like diabetes or potential um, cancer. That's why the doctors are always asking about these traits that get passed down. Well, much more gets passed down than your looks, your quirks, and your medical history. So what also gets passed down are those hurts. So if your mother, for instance, was raped as a child or molested, well, there are traumas because of that that get passed down into her children that some of us carry. And that's why some of us feel so out of sorts or we have interesting behaviors that we have a hard time explaining. So First of all, it's recognizing what they are. And then next, beginning to take the steps. So there's lots of things you could do to heal. There's lots and lots of things you could do to heal this generational trauma. So first and foremost, the fastest way is to get an energy worker, a healer, somebody who can read energy like myself, because I have the amazing ability to track and trace all of the energy, I could tell you exactly when it happened, the day, the time, the year. If it was somebody uh, feminine or masculine energy that where you received it, I can track and trace if you have stuff on your mother's side, on your father's side. There's curses. Generational stuff is for real. And that energy comes down through us. So I invite you to keep being the detective of your environment. Pay attention. And if you want to be the sacrificial lamb, the one to clean up the generations, well, you can look at lots of free stuff on YouTube, right? There's more than one way to accomplish whatever you want. Always, always, always remind yourself that there is more than one way to get what you want. So keep giving yourself permission to do the work. All right. So changing your mindset, beginning to say things like, it ends with me. The the generational stops. The generational stuff stops with me. When you start declaring and claiming things, then guess what? The that energy shifts, and then you become the person who's going to transmute, transform all of that energy because energy cannot be deleted but it can be alchemized. It can be shifted. And how do I know? Because I am your energy alchemista. So invite yourself to do the work because when you heal generational stuff within you, it helps everyone. It helps your children. It helps your nieces, your nephews, your siblings, your parents, your aunts, your uncles, your grandparents, and even people, ancestors on the other side. So Trey Urban here. I am your energy alchemista. And I invite you to keep discovering more about how to heal generational wounds so that you and your family can thrive.